Hey guys, welcome to Product Orders Point. Okay, so in this tutorial, we will learn how to take a screenshot programmatically in Flutter. Okay, so let's begin. So here I have created a new project in my Android Studio IDE and I have named it as screenshot and this is the default code that is the counter code given by Flutter team while creating new Flutter project. Okay, so let's begin. Okay, so here uh, I will not change anything over in this code. So the same UI. So this is the UI. So we will just when this button is been pressed, we will just try to take a screenshot of this screen. Okay, the whole app screenshot I'm going to take when this button is been pressed. Okay, so I will just keep this code as it is. Okay, so just what I will do is I will just remove the unwanted comments. Okay, so to take a screenshot in Flutter, we have a widget called as repaint boundary that we can make use of to take a picture or capture a particular view of our Flutter app. Okay, so let's check out which is that widget. So I will just wrap that widget with this scaffold widget because I want to take the whole screen screenshot, right? Okay, so I need to capture it with scaffold widget. So add widget repaint boundary okay so this is the widget that we are going to wrap with this scaffold widget so anything that comes inside this as a child will get captured in a form of image right okay so uh, this is how we can take a screenshot so we need to code much more so let's do it afterwards so before that to save a screenshot we need a library called as image gallery saver so first of all, that's, let's add that. So just open pop specification.yaml file and under dependencies section, add it image gallery saver. So just add it and hit this pop get button. Okay, so the image saver gallery is been successfully added in our Flutter project. So let's go to main.dart page and continue uh, implementing screenshot implementation. Okay, so here I have added a rebound paint rebound widget so for this we need to attach a key so let's create a global key over here okay and now let's use this key and attach it to our uh, repaint bound okay so now by making use of this key we can access anything in this uh, widget Okay, so now here I will just create a method that will help us in taking a screenshot and saving it in our gallery. Okay, so void capture screenshot. So here we need to get the data of this repaint bound. Okay, so render repaint bound. Let's give a name to this bound and here I am going to make use of the key that we have attached to this bound okay dot current context dot find rendering object renderer object okay as renderer paint bound okay so null safety yeah okay so if boundary dot debug need paint then here i need to start a timer duration in seconds one second okay so after one second again i need to call the capture screenshot method okay return null so import this okay so this function will work if a boundary was not successfully means the screenshot of this uh, widget or the view of our app was not successfully took at that time we need to do this okay okay so now we need to convert this boundary into images and then we need to convert it into byte and then we need to send the byte data to uh, image saver to save the data okay so let's do it now so here 
uh, first of all we need to import some methods or functions okay so just import the dart classes that we need so import dart ui as ui okay so now we can use it over here yeah so ui dot image image is equal to await boundary dot to image so we are going to convert the boundary into images by using this method okay so now we need to convert this image to byte code so byte data is equal to await image dot to byte data okay so here we need to define to which format we want to save the image or a screenshot so ui dot image format dot png okay here it is showing me an error so let's check okay so we need to import this typed data okay so if byte data is not equal to null if it is not equal to null then uh, we need to again convert this byte data into uh, uint8 list okay so let's do it now is equal to uh, let's name it as png png int8 okay so you can just name this object as anything as per your needs so byte data we need to convert by data dot buffer dot as u int 8 list okay so here we need to again import the requirement okay so here it is giving me an error okay so list l is capital so so now we have our image in a u8 list format so now we can use this u8 list format image or the screenshot that we took and uh, send it to our uh, external library that helps us in storing the image in our gallery okay so now final save image is equal to await so we are going to make it as in the beginning of this video tutorial we have added a library that is image gallery saver so let's use it now await image gallery saver dot save image u int 8 list dot from list and here we need to pass the this object in this element okay and here you can just define the quality of the image that you want to the name of the image that you want to save as so here we are going to save this image screenshot name in a form of date time because date and time is every time unique even if if it is in milliseconds the time name will get changed and for uh, image will get successfully changed without any disturbance dot png we need to do it okay so we are going to save the image name as screenshot hyphen today's date means when this image was been saved okay okay so i need to just call this from any method or any event from where you want to capture the screenshot okay so here i have a button that will help us in doing that so else i'll just create a button over here elevated button this okay so now i will just restart the app and check left if it is if the image is getting saved or no uh, and yeah i just forgot one more thing so as we are going to make use of this image saver uh, package we need to add a permission so that this package can be able to use our internal external storage okay so first of all just go to uh, android app sources main and android manifest 
and in application tag over here you must add a permission that is request legal uh, external storage legacy external storage and make it true so that our android app flutter android app will be able to access external storage to save the image okay and in ios if you are going to make an app so just go to ios folder runner and info p list and over here inside this dect deck you must add two keys that will help us in accessing uh, storage devices so one is photo library and why you are using that photo library dependency or a permission okay so these are the two uh, permissions that you want to add in your app okay so now let's check the app by restarting okay so the app got installed on my device so let's check it so i'm going to just press on this capture button so just check the response yeah, I think the image got successfully saved. So here is a message. It is saying true. Okay, so let's check it. So for that, let's go to image gallery, photos, gallery and picture. So you can see the the app screenshot is being saved in my gallery. Okay, so let's try once more. Okay, so this time I will just press on this button for 11 times and then press on this capture button. Okay, so now let's check. Okay, so you can see our app screenshot is getting captured and it is getting saved in our gallery. Okay, so that's all for this video tutorial. Hope you got the concept of how to take a screenshot programmatically in Flutter. So the complete source code of this tutorial will be in the description link of my website that is protocoldaspoint.com. You can just check the description to get the source code. So thanks for watching. Please do subscribe protocoldaspoint. Thank you.